Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch Want and thanks for logging on. Today we're going to be looking at the Patek Philippe 5726 Nautilus Annual Calendar, 40.5 millimeters in stainless steel. You can see this watch on our website, watchyouwant.com, and if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. Now, for once, I'm not going to get too deep into the ergonomics of the watch. If you know this watch, you've probably tried it on. If you haven't, I will close out with more wrist shots, size, and fit impressions. But this is an important watch during an important period. This being leap year, as well as February, we're approaching one of the few times when you will have to manually transition an annual calendar. Patek Philippe invented the annual calendar in the modern era, debuting its first in 1997. In 2010, the Nautilus joined the Patek Philippe annual calendar family, and today we're going to examine how to set the indications, or reset at the end of February, the indications of the Patek Philippe 5726. Now, The first thing you want to do, and this is Patek's guidance, is to advance the watch through one day and date changeover, and then set it to 6 a.m. You can see the changeover, and you can follow the AM-PM distinction on the sub-register at 6 o'clock. This is in 24-hour format, and it'll let you know whether you're looking, for instance, at this moment at 3 a.m. or 3 p.m. Moreover, it's important to keep track because during the period when the changeover of the calendar indications is in progress, you can damage the watch and the mechanism by attempting to manually correct using the dimples on the case flanks. So you want to make sure that this watch is at 6 a.m. before we start correcting indications. Now once you're at 6 a.m., you can adjust the minute hand a little bit further just so you have a clear view of all the apertures. Now you want to use the pusher tool that's included. The pusher tool has a snug fit with the dimple on the case flank, and this minimizes the chance of damage. It's also more fun. So now you can see right now, I'm interfacing with the pusher and I'm adjusting to the second. So far, so good. Now there's another corrector up here at 130 that's used to adjust the month. You can see it's set to October now, and I want to advance using a series of positive presses. We're January, and now we're at February. It's fairly intuitive with each of the correctors being located adjacent to the indication that it adjusts. And finally, it's set to Sunday. Right now it is Tuesday. And we have all of our indications. Now, for moon phase reference, I'm going to bring in a little bit of help from a friend of mine. And I can see that it is a waning moon, but this one has advanced a little bit too far through the cycle. So I'm going to have to go around to the indication adjuster on the case flank, located right here at 8 o'clock interface with the pusher, and keep in mind that a moon phase being 29 and a half days. There are going to be quite a few jumps here. So each day of the cycle rotates the calendar indication. You can see how the moon is advancing underneath the hour hand. And perfect. I have just enough of the waning moon to match up with my reference. Once that's done, I can set to the appropriate time, bring my friend back in, and I can see that it's 2.26, and it's 2.26 p.m., so I'm going to advance the time fully through the change from a.m. to p.m., And now I'm going to set my Patek Philippe Nautilus annual calendar to the correct time. Having done that, I screw down the crown, fully secured. The crown endows the watch with 12 ATM water resistance, so 120 meters. This is a true sports watch in every sense. If you do put it on a bracelet or you do put it on a rubber strap, you're going to have no problem taking this watch swimming. It is that versatile. You can see the 2010 to present Nautilus annual calendar features a gorgeous gradient dial. It blends from a sort of silver gray at center to almost black anthracite at its periphery. Beautifully unadorned, it preserves the essential lines of Gerald Genta's Nautilus while conveying information that has really only arrived in the Nautilus line in the modern era. Again, complications didn't arrive to the Nautilus line until 1990. 
1998, and it really wasn't until 2006 that we started to see the arrival of substantial complications, 2010 for the first annual calendar. So this is still a very new chapter in the story of the Nautilus. Now on the case back, you can see the Patek Philippe caliber 324 QALU 24H slash 303. It's a big name, but trust me, if any movement is worth it, it's this one. Adorned with the Patek Philippe seal of quality, it features gorgeous circular Cote de Genève on the winding rotor, linear Cote de Genève across the bridges, mirror polished anglage, delectable screw sinks with the same level of polish, gorgeous grained wheels, and significantly, it features two Patek Philippe innovations, the Gyromax free sprung balance with variable inertia balance blocks, and the Spiromax silicon hairspring for anti-magnetism. So not just an abundantly water resistant watch, also a shock resistant and anti-magnetic watch. You may never inflict that kind of rigor on your Patek Philippe, but it's nice to know the capability is there. The winding mass is borne by high efficiency unlubricated ceramic winding bearings. So this one's designed for long wearing durability as well as superb aesthetics. I'm gonna finish off with some wrist impressions as I often do on the wrist Mine being 16 centimeters, 6.3 inches in circumference. You can see the watch fits flush. It is quite thin, being only 12 millimeters thick. From lug to lug, the watch is nice and compact, being 46 between the pivot points of the strap. And you can see the pivot points inset within the lugs give you a good frame of reference. The outermost outcropping of the junction between strap and case does extend the case to about 52 millimeters from edge to edge. So visually, the watch has a substantial presence, even as it wears compact. It's attached to a beautiful, flat, monotone-stitched alligator leather strap with a superb double-deployant Patek Philippe clasp. You can see this Patek Philippe Nautilus annual calendar, reference 5726, on our website, watchyouwant.com.